and it took about a hundred years of refining this order before we got to the periodic table that you see today. And this table is based on one made by a Russian scientist, Dmitry Mendeleev. You'll see that as we go from left to right across the table, the atomic number increases by one. And these horizontal rows are called periods. And the period that each element belongs to represents the number of electron shells that the atom has. So, for example, the second row down, or period two, is lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and neon. And each of these elements has two electron shells. And as we go down the vertical columns, the groups, the elements all have the same number of electrons in their outer shell. So in group one, ignoring hydrogen for the moment, we have lithium, sodium, potassium, and so on all have one outer shell electron. Whereas group seven, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, all have seven. In group zero, the far right column with helium, neon, argon, and krypton have a complete outer shell. Elements in the same group have similar properties. For example, in group one, that group with lithium, sodium, etc., are all called alkali metals with relatively low melting points and can all be cut with a knife. You'll see that between group two and group three, there's a gap where there's a block of elements with similar properties and these are called transition metals.